That was just her. She wanted to go somewhere and make people smile and laugh all the time. Right now, family and friends of the 16 year old girl shot and killed near Benjamin E. Mays High School are gathering in her honor. Good evening and thanks for being with us. I'm Jennifer Bellamy and I'm Faith Jesse and Jennifer. This is something that just hits home to so many people because it's happening far too often. The group remembering Breasia Powell with a balloon release at the CT Martin Community Center and that's where we find 11 Alive's Bo Beth Yates with more. Yes, and we're preparing for a very emotional scene here at the community center, and this location meant a lot to Briasia. She spent a lot of time here participating in multiple activities, and I spoke to her grandfather earlier today, who says they're just devastated by this loss. My son got killed, my sister got killed, and now my grandbaby get killed. Rodney Williams oh, says words home. can't express the pain of losing his granddaughter, Briasia Powell. She was just 16, shot while celebrating the start of summer with her friends over the weekend. She had dreams in her eyes, and she always said, Granddad, he ain't gonna do nothing. I'm gonna be the star, you know what I'm saying? So, and then next time I come up here looking for her, she out there playing volleyball. I said, let's go play basketball. She said, now nah, I got to go to Chile to practice, you know what I'm saying? I said, when are you going to be through that? She said, I don't know, because I got to go up here and study, you know, and, and that was just my baby, you know what I'm saying? She, she wanted to do everything. Everything included basketball and loving to make everyone smile. And William says the loss is especially tough for her mom and five siblings. Every time you seen them, you always saw a little bit and Brazier together, so and he was on a college visit for football at the time, so he came back in town too. And the oldest one, I think, took it to heart because he old enough to realize what just happened to him, his mama and his family. So, and, and, and my baby boy, I had to hold him like I almost a whole night trying to get him to calm down. And as the family grieves their superstar, they're leaning on the community for support. It's going to be a long road. We're going to need all friends and family to always come and hang around now. Now, the balloon release is expected to begin around 6 o'clock, and the family says they're expecting many of Briasia's friends from school to come to pay their tribute. Sending it back to you guys in the studio. All right, Bo Beth, our hearts go out to her family tonight. Thank you so much.